All right, hey everyone, welcome back to another lecture of Salesforce Bytes. And in this Salesforce Bytes uh, video tutorial lesson lecture, we'll specifically talk about something that's happened recently. Workflow rules are retiring and Salesforce is only promoting Flow, Flow Builder. And uh, the next in line after workflow rules would be process builders. So the question arises that we are currently in projects that have been running for the last two years, three years, five years, 10 years, and a lot of workflow rules and process builders have been written in order to accommodate all the business functionality, right? How do we migrate our existing code into flows or existing automation? So for workflow rules, Salesforce has given an automation tool that lets you migrate workflow rules to flows just by a button click, right? So in this video, we'll take a look at that. Let's go to a Salesforce org, this one right here that I have opened and I'll go to setup. Let me quickly check if I have any workflow rules just for this demo. So if I go to workflow rules, I'll just say don't show and I'll say continue. So I have one workflow rule that's currently active, which is on the account object, right? Let's take a look at what this is. So if I click on update organization, this says that whenever the account, account name is equal to Himanshu, evaluate this every time when the record is created and subsequently meets criteria update the ownership so it's doing a field update and it is setting the ownership to private all right now if i go back to my workflow rule you'll start seeing something on the top of your workflow rule every time you come to the workflow rules page which is this particular section right here it says go with the flow with flow builder the future of low code automation you can do everything you do with workflow rules right and salesforce plans to retire workflow rules and recommends building automation in flow builder all right and you see there's a quick link that lets you migrate your workflow rule to flows now this is the link i'm talking about if i click on this particular link it opens a lightning page and it says that you know migrate to flow with ease and it's kind of a brief description i'll close it and you see you see your workflow rules here listed down below this is the one that we have in our system i'll click on this workflow rule and i'll click on this button that says migrate to flow if you notice the workflow rule status is currently active and the resulting flow is empty. If I say migrate to flow, it says migration in progress and it has created a flow for us. How awesome is that, right? Your flow was successfully created and if you want to test it in flow builder, you can click on this button. It will take you there. Or if you want to activate the flow directly, if you completely believe that Salesforce has done it correctly, you can just say switch activations. What switch activation will do is it will deactivate your existing workflow rule and activate your flow because your flow flow is currently inactive, right? So I'll just say switch activation. And if you now notice your workflow rule has, is deactivated and your flow is activated. Let's close this. And if you see now my workflow rule status is inactive and this is my resulting flow. All right, let's see what Salesforce has done. Let's go to flows and let's open this particular flow. It should be called update organization, right? So update organization, this is right here. It's last modified by Imanshu, the currently logged in user. It is unmanaged and it is currently active. See this, this flag right here is active flag and it is an auto launched flow. Now, if I open this flow, let's see if, if it has completely replicated my workflow rule criteria. So it opens the flow builder uh, screen and it says that it is a record triggered flow. Fine. Object is account. That was our object. A record is created or updated, which is also fine. And here is my, is my condition set? Yes, it is set. It says name equals Simanshu. This was my entry criteria in the workflow, right? And if you notice when to run the flow for updated records, only when the record is updated to meet the condition requirements, this suffices your subsequently meet criteria in workflow rules, right? And what are we doing here? We are doing a field update, which is a fast field update. Let's see what is the field update happening here. It is setting the ownership to private. Awesome. Everything that I had on my workflow rule has been migrated to flows within a single click. Now this is also activated and this will work exactly as your workflow rule was working. So an amazing tool by Salesforce um, regarding migration of uh, workflow rules. They will be coming up with a similar tool for process builders also very soon. So we'll, we'll keep an eye for that, right? So this is how you can easily migrate your workflow rules to flows without having to create them yourself. And if you have like 25, 50, 100 of workflow rules, you just have to click and select the ones that you want to migrate and you can just convert them into flows, right? That's all from today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.